Hello, today I will show you how to connect a LoRa device to ChirpStack. We will use the LBM01 and LWC01 menu buttons as examples and I will demonstrate a live connection with LWC01 button. Before we begin, make sure you have a Rack Wireless Gateway already connected to ChirpStack. I am using the Rack 7268B2 Edge Lite 2. We need LoRa devices. I am using my new buttons LBM01 and LWC01. We need the device EUI, app EUI and app key. Now the device EUI is usually present on the body of the device and the app key is provided by manufacturer or is present in the documentation that comes along the products. We also need access to ChirpStack web interface. When we are logged into the ChirpStack server, we will go to the device profiles. Now here we already have a device profile but we can make a new one to show all the steps. Click on add device profile. Here you can put a name, for example, VC. Remember that you have to use the region in which you are. We are currently in North America. So we will put US 915. The lower Mac version, regional parameter revision will be found in the documentation of the products. Our devices use version 1.0.2 regional parameter is A and default ADR algorithm low only. We will submit it here. Next we will go to the applications. The applications creation is very easy. When we are going to add the application we just need to put the name and submit. I have already created an application here named LoRa button app. Here you can see I already have created several buttons. I added three of them manually and the rest were mass provisioned by using Python script about which I will talk in another video. I will add a fake device to show how devices can be added manually. Click on add device. You can put the name, any name. Remember the device UI, the device profile that we created. I'm using LoRa buttons. Now the device can be activated using OTA or ABP. Our devices are OTA activated over the air activation. Here we can add the activation key. When we go back to the devices here, we can see this fake button has been created. Our scene is never, it's a fake button, the app key is wrong, therefore it will not show up. However, I will be using live demonstration of activation using LWC01 button. Here, I am choosing this one. The configuration has been done properly. We have OTA keys as well. This is the particular LWC01 button. Now that it has switched on, the three beeps show that the device has been now activated and connected to the gateway. I will refresh to show this is the activation page. These are the network session and application session keys. We can see on the MQTT broker logs as well. Here we can even see that the device EUI LWC01B5, the device has been connected as is shown in the MQTT broker logs. This was the procedure for manually adding the devices. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and ask any questions you have in the comments.